Hi there, Henry Smith here from mindworthenrich.com. Thanks for joining me today in today's update. This is uh, about updating the cryptocurrency portfolio, which I've been uh, growing over the last uh, just over a year. I actually started last summer in 2020, uh, although I didn't start actually documenting it and recording the documentation of it until February this year, 2021. But I uh, continue to do this every day. I encourage you to stay until the end of the video because I always talk about something after the update. So thanks for joining me. But before I continue, I've got to do the disclaimer. So I, um, I'm not a financial planner, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not an accountant or CPA. So nothing on this video constitutes uh, financial advice. Uh, do, all, uh, do your due diligence, your own research, and also understand that in any kind of investing, or trading, there's always a risk associated, so do not invest more than you can afford to lose. So, um, as I said, this is part, uh, part of IamWorkingRich.com and uh, how to understand the game of money and play it well. If you haven't visited this site, I'll, I'll take you to that site afterwards. But what I want to do right now is share my screen. Which I've got the spreadsheet up, share that screen, and go to and do the update. So let's hit the share button. So this is a spreadsheet I've been using, and uh, it has three columns, uh, altcoin column, Bitcoin column, and the totals column. And as you can see, we have the green and, and red parts. The green, green is when it's moved forward on the previous day, and red is when it's moved backward on the previous day. So sometimes we've had some times when it's gone forward for many days, actually. And then sometimes we've had, you know, another time forward and then we have it going backwards for a few days at a time sometimes four or five days at a time and so on and so forth so we keep recording this and we're going to find out how the, the portfolio was started from scratch and the figures how i got to the figures and where i am today or where i was at the beginning of this documentation of the beginning of the spreadsheet you can check out the link underneath this video so um, today's date is the 15th, and I get the figures from this page here, which come in from a live feed to an account group. The live feed cuts link to a coin market cap into an account group, and then it comes into an asset group, rather, comes into this page here, the final figures. So this particular portfolio consists of one whole Bitcoin, and an assortment of specially selected, specially researched alternative coins apart from Bitcoin. And then this is the total up here. So on the left hand side, we've got the US dollars equivalent. And in the middle of here, we've got the British pounds equivalent. And this is the um, split between the two asset classes. So what we, I'm going to do now is start with this figure here. Um, one hundred and sixty thousand five hundred and forty three forty four. So let's hit the time. And was it one sixty three five four four? And I don't know what it was. 543, it was 543.44. That's right. Let's just see which is right. Um, I don't know what's not sent. One to the right, let's delete that and start again. Anyway. Um, let's get that again. Let's change here. Yeah, it updates every 10 minutes or so, so it must have just updated. 161,825.40. Very, very quick. 161,825.40. Okay, and that is minus 2,620, so that's gonna stay in the red. 
and right at the top figure up here is 679 64 679 64 679 64 right. yeah. so I'll bring it down and that's minus 3218 so that stays in the red and Bitcoin is also down 598 dollars so that's goes red as well. That. That's great. So um, that's today's figures. Uh, you know, keeping a good eye, uh, get a good eye on Bitcoin. Um, you know, we know Bitcoin. Uh, the market is about to go through a change in either direction. And uh, if we looked at, we looked at the the, ch the channel here quicksand that uh, it entered into and say on you know really touched it on the on the 16th of May is when it kind of entered into the quicksand proper and then uh, uh, try to get out of the quicksand here on the 19th of August and another candle was printed it's not finished yet it's got three days and 11 hours before it's fully printed but I can see the wick is just touching that tunnel so yeah it's not um, so as long as it's touching that still got, got a hold of it and it may even escape and then still be pulled back in I think it has the potential to go higher before being sucked back in to the tunnel and coming down to something like this line but we shall see, we'll observe this over the next three days and 11 hours. And uh, also, you know, we talked about the, um, the coming cross that's coming. You know, we had a, a death cross that happened the 19th of June, but here we have one coming up, which is not a death cross, it's called a golden cross because this is the opposite. And um, it's the moving averages lines. 50 day and a 200 day moving average is nine. So when they cross each other, we shall see a change in momentum, a change in direction of the price action. And that's what we'll be watching. But the thing is what, I'm, we're, what we're seeing, and we have estimated when we think that cross will be uh, using this tool here. But it keeps moving as, as you know, because Bitcoin is unpredictable, it moves. So this moves. It was the 12th of September. Now it's been moved back to the 16th, or so, uh, 15th or 16th of September, somewhere around there. It could be moved to the 20th as, as, um, as you know, the price keeps moving. But what's important is the look, looking at the dots after the cross. So it, so it crosses. So what if Bitcoin goes up? But it looks like. It, after it does cross, it will probably, they'll probably cross again somewhere down here in November or so. They may cross, it most probably will cross again. You know, I don't know exactly when it would be, it could be in October or November. So September might be a time of, of Bitcoin going up if it crosses in September. And then as it um, cut, as they cross again, the other way around is what we call another death cross, which is when the green line crosses over the red line down on a downwards uh, direction. What we call a death cross, and that will signify, if that happens, that good signal will signify a downtrend. Just before the major uptrend that is going to happen, you know, early next year, early to, to the middle of next year. So, um, but we shall observe it, keep you posted on a daily basis, you know, the, how Bitcoin is performing. And um, either way, you know, 
very ready for this and I hope you are too. Like I said, if it goes up, it's great. If it goes down, it's an opportunity to buy more. But we shall know once this uh, hits. Once this hits, maybe the 16th, maybe it moves to the to the 18th, I don't know, or the 20th. We shall see. It's already moved four days from, from the 12th to, um, to, the, to the 16th. So it's already moved a little bit because there's been a slight adjustment move with Bitcoin. But yeah, we'll keep, keep, keep you posted, um, you know, where exactly when it, where it meets exactly, exactly it's, it's where it's going to meet, but we'll see where, where that will be. So September should be an interesting month either way. And the price could decide to change and the, the lines may run parallel, which means that, you know, they don't meet and then cross at a later date in the opposite direction as expected. So we shall watch and see. Never, um, never fails to entertain Bitcoin. And uh, we shall, you know, we shall see whether, like I said, after 10 years, it's going to be the first time it actually escapes it within, within you know, six months to a year. But it's, it's unlikely, but it's, it's a possibility. We show, again, all of this is about uh, probability and statistics. There's no absolute certainties in crypto. But with that said, um, what I want to do is uh, take you over to this site. Uh, I am wealthy and rich.com. How to understand the game of money and play it well. If that's something you're interested in, the first step you need to do is get your millionaire mindset and investment strategy. Fill in the form and I'll get that sent to you immediately. And then what you need to do is uh, start applying it. And once you've started applying it, then what you need to do is then go over to send us an email to get more information on the altcoins. And it so gives you some free information about our strategy and why I put 77% of my money in there. So get yourself over to this site first. I'm working rich. Download the training, apply it exactly as I teach it, and then find out more about our online strategy. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and um, share this video on your own social media. I appreciate that. And um, thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video update. Have a great day. Bye.